Hey guys, it's Ansu. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm here to do a bookshelf tour. Um, I do have a ton of books on my shelf. I haven't counted them yet, but I will leave them up here so you can see how many books I actually have on this one shelf. Yes, I do have only one shelf. They are insanely stacked. They don't have a great order to them. Yeah, I will get right into it. If you have not subscribed yet, do so below. It is free, obviously. Let's get right into the bookshelf tour. We have this shelf on top over here. Let's just get right into it. I do have a candle over here, which I don't like the scent of, but anytime my brother doesn't like something and doesn't want something, he leaves it in my room. So I just left it here for decoration purposes. Where'd you go, Bernadette? By Maria Semple. The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I Love the Lots by Melissa De La Cruz. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandia Menon. With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Urban and Dove by Shelby Maherin. The Book Jumper by Mechdild Glazia. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan. Because You Love to Hate Me, which is an anthology and has a ton of authors, including booktubers. And I Darken by Kirsten White. And finally on the stack, we have The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. The Case of Beasts, which is a Fantastic Beasts um, book. I'm most likely gonna get rid of this, but it's still here. Next up, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, all by J.K. Rowling, and it's illustrated by Jim Kay. On top of these stacks of books, we have the Harry Potter box set. So we have all seven books of Harry Potter here. Renegades and Arch Enemies, King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, Night Film by Marisha Pessel, Daughter of the Burning City and King of Fools, both by Amanda Foodie, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Fury Born by Claire Legrand, the Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin, Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry, which is a great novel by the way. We have The Grey Wolf Throne and The Crimson Crown, both by Cinda Williams Chima, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I'm not gonna pull these books out, but we have Red Rising. Golden Sun and Morning Star, all by Piers Brown. This is actually given to me as a gift. It's Grab Life by the Balds and Other Life Lessons from the Good Advice Cupcake by Lauren Brands and Kyra Kupetsky. We have The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages, all by Brandon Sanderson. A Whole New World, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. The Dragon Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A Girl Like That by Tana's Bethina. And finally, on this shelf we have Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Moving on to this shelf here, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight, all by Sarah J. Maas, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness, all by Cassandra Clare, The Black Prism and the Blinding Knife, both by Brent Week, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Cinder and Crest by Marissa Meyer, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, and Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, both by Mackenzie Lee. A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light, all by B. E. Schwab. Moving on to this mini shelf over here. Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. Crown's Game by Ellen Skye. The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. The Book Thief by Marka Zuzak. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Poison Study by Maria Wee Snyder. So we have The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, the Air of Fire, Crown of Midnight, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and we also have a coloring book. These are all by Sarah J. Mass. We are here at the very tiny, tiny shelf. We have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, all by Lee Bardugo, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, The Winner's Kiss, all by Mary Rutkotsky, This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet, both by Victoria Schwab, The Wrath in the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger, both by Renee Adia, An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, and A Reaper at the Gates, all by Sabah Tahir. Okay, so we have this shelf here. 
About a Girl by Lindsay Kelk, Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer, and Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor, both by Rick Riordan, Truth Witch and Wind Witch, both by Susan Dennard, The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon, Strange the Dreamer, and Muse of Nightmares, both by Lainey Taylor. I have yet to read this, I don't know why, but yeah. Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne, both by Kendara Blake. Uh, again, I have yet to read this. The Girl on the Train and Into the Water, both by Paula Hawkins, My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella, Turtles all the way down by John Green, My True Love Gave to Me, and Summer Days and Summer Nights. They're both anthologies and it's edited by Stephanie Perkins. Wishes and Wengeful by B.E. Schwab, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Simon was with the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Aki Albert Talley, A Girl's Best Friend by Lindsay Kelk, and then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. The Kiss of Deception, Heart of Betrayal, and Beauty of Darkness, all by Mary E. Pearson, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star, both by Marie Lou, Walk on Earth a Stranger, and Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson, The Novice, and The Inquisition, both by Taryn Mathery. Finally on this shelf, we have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Copper Gauntlets by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, Seven Years to Sin by Sylvia Day, The Serpent's Shadow, the Throne of Fire and The Mark of Athena, all by Rick Riordan. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappio. Twenties Girl by Sophie Kinsella. The Paris Secret and Christmas at Tiffany's, both by Karen Swan. The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The Unexpected Everything and Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Last Man in Tower by Aravind Adiga. To All the Boys I've Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Laura Jean, all by Jenny Han. Finding Audrey and the Tennis Party, both by Sophie Kinsella or Madeline Wickham. Finally on the shelf, we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bonte. We're at the final final section, so let's get right into it. I Heart Forever by Lindsay Kelk. Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Restore Me, all by Tahara Mafi. The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and Blue Lily Lily Blue, all by Maggie Stevewater. The Stranger I Marry by Sylvia Day. Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. The White Tiger by Aravind Adiga. Four Weddings and A Sixpence, which is an anthology. We have Cocktails for Three, The Undomestic Goddess, and The Gate Crasher by Sophie Sophie Kinsella or Madeleine Wickham. Lloyd Lane Tells All by Karen Hawkins. The Summer Without You and Christmas on Primrose Hill, both by Karen Swan. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Save the Date by Morgan Matson, which should have been on the other shelf, but I forgot to put that. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Reached and Matched by Ali Condi, Beyond the Shadows by Brent Weeks, The Lady Most Willing and The Lady Most Likely, both by Julia Quinn, Eloise James, and Connie Brockway, All American Girl by Meg Cabot, and finally, Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella. All right, you guys, that was my entire bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs>